Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today we are doing my current summer go-to easy quick whatever foundation routine. Um, this is a routine I've been using for the past week or so and I love it. I love the way my, my makeup looks at the end of the day. It is easy. It could be very affordable. Anyone can achieve it. If you want to see how I achieve my powder foundation routine, stay tuned. Also, I did a giveaway. I tried to do a giveaway in my last tutorial and I know it was Memorial Weekend. Probably much people didn't look at the video, but I'm still doing the giveaway because no one really participated in it. So whenever I choose to do a giveaway and I don't get the participation that I'm looking for, I'm just going to add another product to the giveaway or give it away again until I probably get the participation that I'm looking for. So I'm still giving away two Remel lip products. All you got to do is comment in the comment section within the next 24 hours of this video going live and I will randomly choose someone to give those two. So let's jump into this tutorial. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay, so before I actually get started on the foundation routine, um, I think I should mention skincare and I'm a big advocate for good skin, um, skincare. Skincare is of utmost importance. I cannot stress that enough. You need to take care of your skin. Uh, powder would not stick on anything that's too dry. You need some sort of moisture to your skin. And the first step for me is my skincare. And I'm loving this Body Shop Tea Tree Mattifying Lotion. It's great for my skin because I do get oily T-zone and um, gives me hydration but still keeps me matte where I need it. And I'm using a sunscreen. I am not big on sunscreens but I do see the benefits of it. I'm getting older. It helps to keep my hyperpigmentations at bay. If you've noticed, they're very light and they tend to stay light when I use my sunscreen. So I'm using this one at the moment. It's not my favorite but it works. Thought I'll mention that. Now I'm going to hop into my current favorite primer which is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I'm just going to skip over that because I already mentioned how much I'm loving this primer and a primer you need a primer or some sort of moisturizer for this routine especially. Okay so that I have a tacky base I'm taking my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I'm just going to apply this a little bit in the areas where I have pores and massage that all in. Okay, now this part that I'm about to do is optional. If you you do not want to do this, you do not have to do this, but I prefer to do some correcting and to add some concealer to my base first before I go in with the powder. Whenever you're using powder foundations, it's best to apply any cream or liquid products first before you actually go in with the powders. So I'm gonna do some correcting and it's a lot that I'm gonna do, but this is what works for me. You can totally skip this step and go straight into just the powder foundation and what I'm gonna do next, but I am gonna do this step. So I'm gonna take a concealer brush and I'm using my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the color Chestnut and I'm gonna apply this underneath my eyes it's sort of reddish so it's gonna help to correct any discoloration that I have as you can see it cancel out some of my darkness and the redness and stuff on my face this concealer also dries down to a very soft matte finish and I feel like my, my concealer tends to disappear throughout the day so I like doing that step now I'm gonna use my elegant pro concealer in the color toffee and I'm gonna go over the exact areas because this one is more of a creamier consistency as you can see this concealer is also of a reddish base it also helps to cancel out any discoloration underneath my eyes and concealers are more pigmented so a little goes a long way now Yes, I'm using another concealer because I have the darkness and discoloration kind of how I want it. But I want to bring some highlight to my face. You all know I love to highlight. So I'm using my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I love this concealer so much. It's only $5. I'm using the color tan sand and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes for some highlights. This concealer tends to, oh my god, do you hear the noise? It's Memorial Day, please. Do you hear the bikes? Oh my freaking god. <sighs> I 
as I was saying, this concealer I find tends to dry very fast, so you need to work very fast with it. I know it looks crazy, y'all, but bear with me. It's gonna come. It's gonna come together lovely. Now I'm taking my Mac Studio Fix powder in the color NC42, and I am going to use my damp beauty sponge and apply that underneath my eyes. I've been loving doing this step lately. Well, it's not just lately. I've been doing it a little while off camera, but I just introduced the Mac Studio Fix Concealer um, Powder Foundation and. It's so smoothing underneath the eyes and I love applying it with my damp beauty sponge. I feel like it makes a difference. Okay, now that I'm looking uh, very crazy, I am taking my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop uh, powder foundation and I'm going to apply that all over my face using a puff like this. Mine is dirty, I used it yesterday. So I'm just going to get some of that and press it into onto my skin. And I'm making sure to get it right where the concealer ended so it transitions lovely and it's blended so that I don't see any lines of demarcation where my concealer ended. Make sure you get your neck, your jawline because you don't want to see that mark neither. You can totally use a brush to do this but I like the sponge because I feel like it's giving me more coverage than with a brush. However, I am going to go in with a brush afterwards. So as you can see, it's coming together lovely. So I'm just tapping my brush a little bit in this, tapping off anything and very small circular motions. I'm just buffing off. I'm not really buffing it off, I'm buffing it in to help it dissolve better into my skin also and to just create a smoother transition um, just in case I missed any areas while tapping. Tapping, tapping. This routine looks nicer as the day progresses, trust me. Sometimes I feel like I'm using this routine now because I feel like at the end of the day, I do not like the way my foundation is looking after it's so hot. It feels like it's suffocating my face, but I know that I do want to wear some sort of foundation. I want my face to look presentable. I have people in my face every day. I don't want to be looking crusty and I do not have time to touch my makeup up and stuff like that. And I don't got time to be walking with all that makeup so this routine just looks really lovely at the end of the day and that is what I am going for. I'm at a phase in my life where I feel like I just want to look my skin to look enhanced and I don't want my makeup to be the first thing you see when you see me. So now that we're looking like somebody I am going to bake where I applied my concealer because I do like my highlighted look and a face. Oh. I'm using my Fenty Beauty powder in Cashew. In this powder, we need to have a moment for this powder. Oh. Ah. This powder is a magic in a bottle, and that should be the new name. Fenty Beauty, magic in a bottle. This powder is, oh, I cannot believe I took so long to try this powder. Cashew, if you're my complexion, Cashew, oh my God, it's so beautiful and it's so smooth and it's like butter it's not dry i just packed away huda beauty blondie powder and this is the powder that i am using i love the color of cashew it gives me just the right amount of highlight it's awesome amazing awesome and amazing awesome amazing this powder is magic magic do you believe in magic? While I bake, I'm just gonna do my brows real quickly off camera and be right back. Brows are done. So since I'm just mostly focusing on the skin today, I am gonna speed up the eye part of this tutorial, but I am using Main Squeeze. It's a new Colourpop uh, eyeshadow palette. The colors are beautiful. I think it's perfect for the summer and it matches my kimono. So. That's what we do in. I'm also gonna keep it very simple. You all know how I do. I like the simple looks. Let's find a blending brush.
-hmm. And there we have it. These shadows blended, the matte ones blended so beautifully. Not that I'm surprised, Colourpop is amazing. Okay, bear in mind guys, this, this colors are very, very, very pigmented. So now that we're almost done with the eyes, I'm going to zoom it back out and complete the face. So now I'm just going to use the damp sponge and press the powder in. I'm not going to dust it off. Just press everything in. And I'm going to add some dimension to my face and I'm using my new Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker. <laughs> bronzer in coconutty my second time using this bronzer i like that it's really matte it gives me a nice subtle bronze nothing that's too much in your face but it still brings back that definition and i love that but sometimes i feel like my bronzers could be too red sometimes like it's so difficult to find a bronzer for me sometimes it's just everything in makeup in complexion i feel like it's very difficult for me to find every single thing so like i said like I've mentioned before, once admitted to my channel, I'm loving it. See this? Really nice. That's natural. Everything looks so delicious. I'm going to actually add a contour now. I'm just taking my Black Radiance contour palette and I'm using a medium to dark and I'm taking the contour color. Just on the size of my brush like so. Tap off the excess. And just add a little bit close to the like, back of my ears just to add a little more definition and diffuse it into the bronzer. Of course I can't forget my nose I'm using my Kiss Mineral Powder and just bring a little definition to my nose. Taking my Sleek Brush Trio in um, Pumpkin. No, this, this deserves a moment as well guys ready oh. do you see this mm. Mm -mm -mm. this is so beautiful and you're not even seeing it good in this lighting it is pretty another awesome amazing product so I'm gonna take the color pea pie this one it's more corally and it has a sort of shimmer to it Tap of the excess. I'm using a fan brush because they're very pigmented and apply this sort of mix it into my bronzer and contour to just give a little life to my cheeks. Do you see this? Do you see my skin? Shall we take a moment for my skin as well? Ah. Listen, the way you're seeing my face on camera is the way it looks in person. And that is what I've tried for forever. I want to look filtered in person all of the time. <laughs> and don't mind if you think it has too much blush. Blush is the first thing that disappears off your face anyways, so we good. At this point, we've used so much powder, so we need to set our makeup. Setting our makeup is of utmost importance. It's going to dissolve the powder and make your skin look even more skin-like. And I like to set my makeup before I actually go in with mascara or anything like that because I'm going to douse. Because I'm going to douse myself in my favorite Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and my bougie ass fan to dry that. All right, so now to the size of my face, I'm going to apply some of this matte uh, Fix Plus in gold light. I'm just sort of covering my eyes because I just want it to stay to the side of my face. And that's it. This is just going to make my highlight pop even more when I actually get to that part. We cannot leave the brows. So I'm just using my Got To Be Glue, gel glue and Ooh, way too much, way too much, Rachel. Way too much. Let's put some Bam, brows are not going anywhere. Anywhere. Nowhere. Not a place. Not a boy. Not a bro. Mm. 
So my face is still moist, so I am gonna do my lips as it still dries and my lip liner just freaking close to break. I'm just gonna use my um, Bite Me from Morphe. I'm taking my Colourpop Ooh, lipstick. I'm gonna take a little bit in this gloss um, from MAC, MAC Lip Gloss, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it? Uh, whatever, it's an underage, I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the center of my lips. Like so. Then I'm using these two highlights um, from Shayla and Colourpop again, Booming and Pose. Um, Booming is a, it's darker, a darker, more bronzy color as compared to pole. So I'm going to start with Booming. And a little bit goes a very long way. I just get some and I just rub it off in the cap like this to help it to distribute even on the brush and apply it. This one is like, um, it's more subtle. It looks more like a glow from within as opposed to pose, which is more golden. So it looks like you're wearing highlight. I'm taking this KKW brightening powder in number three. I'm just gonna apply a little bit underneath my eyes with an extra brightening. I pray for the day when I can apply mascara and not have it touch my eyes, okay? Pray for me so that it doesn't happen as well. Okay, and there we have it, my completed go-to current summer powder foundation routine and I'm gonna do a part two to it and show you a more glam look although this one looks very glam and trust me it doesn't take me long to do this but I'm recording I'm trying to say step by step so it seems longer but it doesn't take me long to do this and that's one of the reasons why I refer to a routine like that because I don't want to be beating my face every morning for 45 minutes you know what I mean so this is the look that I'm loving this looks perfect it gets better as it gets older on your face so hi if you're new here my name is rachel everything i use will be in the description box so be sure to check that out all my social media links and how to book me thank you so much for watching please like comment share subscribe all that good stuff it helps and i really really appreciate it um so until then let's continue to touch the world one face at a time and i'll see you in my next tutorial on sunday bye guys